so I will do like an example uh, how should your pitches be yeah the limit is five minutes but it's better to be two or three minutes uh, so I'll present myself first my name is Emil Shikajiski I'm a uh, born in Bulgaria, made in Bulgaria, with a lot of love, but moved uh, uh, to live in Israel. But now I came back. I came back uh, to create this place and uh, to have effect of the startup uh, association and the startup community here in Bulgaria. I would like to give a short uh, technical explanation about what do I do. I'm an engineer. I'm into tech. And uh, I had some issue here, very common in Bulgaria, in general about trust about trusting signatures. Okay, we all know this signature that we each one of us have, but do you really trust this signature? Do you really trust that this one will protect all document that you sign for? Do you remember what are the documents that you sign for? Let's take it even one more step further. What about your company stamp? Do you trust this thing? Do you trust your company stamp? Well, I don't. Well, a, a lot of people do, but actually, here in Bulgaria, it doesn't work anymore. I mean... Okay, let's continue. I have a structure, and I'll leave mean. two minutes for discussion. Okay. I don't trust neither this one, neither this one. And I'll tell you even more. I don't really much trust even the notarial uh, system in terms of efficiency. That every document you need to go to the notary, come back again, and come back again, see that it's you. What we did, I worked for a company named Lynx. We have developed the same handheld signature, but we made it IoT. If your AC is IoT, the AC with, that we don't have is IoT. If your fern, your fridge is about to become an IoT, why your signature should not be? We took the basic signature and we put a biometric stamp on it. We have put a biometric stamp on it. We've connected it to the internet. And from that moment on, every document that you signed, it's first scanning. We do OCR of all of the words. All of the words, all of the terms, all of the numbers of the documents are taken. And instead of signing the same thing every time, you are signing a unique QR code. That in the QR code, you have a zip of the document. And at the same time, a blockchain block is created with your relevant data, your ID, your location, IP address, the device ID, etc., etc. And you can be sure... In confident that this document and this signature belongs to each other, what's called digital signature. It's very hard to fraud, especially when it's hyperledger backed, blockchain based. Actually, it's one time created and can never be destructed. The source of the idea coming from, uh, I'm an engineer and my first work uh, boss, Naum Berestetsky, had stolen today multi-million uh, 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 apartment in the center of Moscow, was just stolen based on, based on document fraud. A biopharmaceutical company got an FDA warning because they found out that one of the managers signed with a date and they compare it, one of the documents of the production and they compare it with the database of the employees existing in the same day and they found that the manager was not there. Not that someone signed with his name, but they just put a date in order to make it work, to make the process go on. And it's happening a lot, a lot and a lot. But the fab cannot stop because of one signature of one missing employee. Current days, most of our phones have a biometric device on it. You can scan for remote, from remote the document, you can, you can uh, uh, QR it, unlock it with your biometric fingerprint when you are at home sick or in a conference in Singapore. This technology should be, and my promise to you, and we already see it, that this will be eliminated, all of this will no longer exist, and it will be replaced with more stuff, more smart signature, more digital, and hopefully a blockchain-based digital signature. So thank you. I'm Emil Shikajiski and now is your turn to present your